I think we've actually killed George. Today, Sony have announced a new camera, and it is this, the A7C. Now, that C stands for compact. This is a nice, small camera, kind of looks like an A6600, weighs about the same as that. Now, the difference is, inside, we have a full-frame 24-megapixel back-illuminated Exmor R sensor. Full-frame. This is an E-mount camera, so although it might not be a compact, how we're used to saying compact, it's incredibly small for what we're sort of used to seeing in the full frame world. Now I've only got this for a couple of hours and I have to say it is an exceedingly windy day today so hopefully we can get some nice shots, we've come to a nice park, got some swans here, ducks, deer, should be able to get some good images with it. Now before I take some shots I want to tell you a little bit about this. The camera itself is a mag alloy design. We, you can see we've got this kind of like nice stylish silver top plate on it. So this is quite a good like lifestyle looking camera if you're traveling around. But on the other hand, you've got all that pro feature of having a full frame sensor in there as well. It can shoot up to 10 frames per second continuously with AF and AE. The ISO range is 100 to 51,200 and that's expandable down to 50 and up to 204,800. It can shoot video at 4K 30p, NTSC, 25p PAL, and you can also do slow motion up to 120 frames per second in Full HD. So it's an impressive little piece of kit. It's dust and splash resistant. We have a Z series battery so it can keep shooting for a long, long time. And I can't wait to see what this is going to be able to do today. Although this is a smaller, more compact camera, that doesn't mean you can't use all of the E-mount lenses that are out there. It's still a full-frame camera, so I've picked out probably my favourite G Master lens, which is the 100 to 400, which obviously on this camera is a bit, it's a bit front-heavy, um, but it doesn't feel odd. I was, I was thinking, oh, it's going to feel a bit weird in the hand, but actually when you're using a longer lens like this, it always feels a bit front heavy. So I don't think it makes a difference that this is a more compact camera. Now, I also wanted to try out the autofocus capabilities as well, because where we are today, we've got loads of swans, we've got birds, we've got deer everywhere. So I thought it'd be a really good chance to try out some of the AF capabilities of the A7C. Now, inside we have 693 face detect autofocus points. We've got 425 contrast detect points and we've actually got the AF technology from some of the more flagship cameras from Sony so this does have the A7R4's uh, real-time IAF tracking so I'm going to be really interested to see how well this performs in the A7C. I've got no reason to think it's going to be anything other than fantastic like we see from the rest of the Sony range. But I'm going to go out there now, start testing, try and get some maybe some birds in flight if anything takes off at the minute. It is very windy today, as I'm sure you're getting annoyed at hearing through the audio, which we are trying to mask, so sorry about that. Um, but hopefully we'll, we'll get some nice pictures with this 100-400. One thing I am noticing is that the viewfinder is a little small for me. I think if you've got long eyelashes, it could be a little annoying. Um, the other issue is because of it, it's a flat viewfinder, when the sun is coming in from this angle, where the detector is here, the light detector, unless your eye is like inside the camera, it doesn't cover the light detector enough. And so the sun can push it back to the screen. So you might want to set up a custom button just so you can flick between viewfinder and screen if the sun is becoming an issue. It's not constantly, it's only when the sun is at that angle. But if you're shooting on a day like this where it's so contrasty, so bright when you're in certain places, you may just want to set up a little custom function button for that. I've popped this into high plus drive now and I'm trying to show you guys that this can do 10 frames per second with AF and AE. So my finger is half pressed on the button. There's a little seagull in front of me on a, um, on a post ready to fly, but he is being quite stubborn. He's enjoying his little perch. So I might be here for some time. Oi, get off my shoe. Sony have also released this new lens, which is the FE, so built for full frame, 28 to 60 mil f4 to 5.6. This very diddy lens fits on the A7C to create this tiny kit. It weighs just 167 grams, so amazingly lightweight, and it's just 45 millimeters long, which is tiny. To use it, you do have to unlock it and put it out like that. So in the bag, it's locked into position, which makes it that small. 
Now inside the lens we've got three spherical elements which help to reduce distortion and aberrations and it's a seven bladed aperture. Now with an f4 to 5.6, 28 to 60, you're going to be lucky to see much bokeh, you're going to have to be in the right sort of circumstance, but the out of focus areas are nice and smooth and this has been built to be able to have the resolving power necessary to make use of this 24 megapixel sensor. So it is nice and sharp and it does have a linear AF motor in there which helps to create nice fast accurate autofocus for using things like the real-time tracking AF. George was filming a different project here today so I've given him a call asked him to come meet us and we're gonna get some eye autofocus stuff and I'm just gonna show you on the back of the screen how well it's locking on because obviously this is a little kit lens and I want to show you that it is capable of keeping up with the A7C. What the hell are you doing? My very short time with the new Sony a7C and the 28-60mm has come to an end unfortunately but I feel like I've had a good play with the camera and it sort of proved to me that I was a bit worried about the size and how easy it would be to use and I think there are some compromises, the viewfinder is small, it isn't the easiest to use in terms of a viewfinder but there are positives to where it is as well. That rangefinder style means I can use two eyes open so I can see my scene, who's walking in and out so I've got more of an idea of what's going on. It is little though um, and we also don't have that AF joystick but we do have the incredible compact size it's so lightweight for walking around all day and for me this is a perfect companion camera I would call it. A camera that you keep with you every day but has the image quality of a full frame so that you're able to actually take really beautiful images. Now if you want to find out more about the a7C we've got loads of information on our store page you can also place a cheeky pre-order there if this looks like something that would be a good companion for you. If you'd like to find out more than that, you can of course give us a call, send us an email or put a comment here. We'll try our best to get back to you with all the information that you could need. We make loads of this type of content. We're always making videos and there's always new stuff coming out. It's a pretty exciting year in the photo industry. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. But for now, from me and the deer, thanks for watching.